Hi everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Kayla. Um, I love thrifting, decor, all that good stuff. And in today's video, I have a thrift trip to share with you guys and I'm so excited to show you my haul. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up, stay to the end. So I decided to add a clip of me cleaning these dishes after I got them home. It's so therapeutic for me to go through and clean each of these. Sometimes when you remove the dirt, you can find things below it that you didn't know was there, like some crazing or a crack or anything like that. Um, that actually happened when I cleaned out the crock, which you won't see here. I did do that at a different time. Um, but on the inside of it, there was so much dirt cake to it and like leaves and things. I guess someone had it outside. Um, when I scrubbed all that off, I found all that beautiful crazing and discoloration and I just loved it. Um, so yeah, enjoy this clip of me cleaning these dishes. And here I'm about to show you the discoloration I found on this one. Unfortunately, you couldn't really tell them. So this day was literally the day of ovals. That's pretty much all I found. Um, I did find a couple things I've been looking for for a couple of months I'm very excited about. Um, okay, so first I got my crock. I have been looking for a crock like this to put my kitchen utensils in probably for like four or five months now. Um, everyone I find, they're always like 30, 40 if not more for this size. Which I know isn't bad, but just not what I'm wanting to pay. Um, but I found this guy for 16 bucks, so I had to get it. There's no stamp on the bottom. Um, it's just handwriting. But it does have some crazing on the inside. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. 
it is so cute. I do have all of my kitchen utensils in this. So I don't really like clutter on my countertops. It kind of stresses me out. Um, so I've been trying to find something to put in there to tie in all the antiques everywhere else. Um, so I kind of got the idea to get an oak rock. And I'm sure I'll think of something else to put in there eventually, but for right now, my crock would do. <laughs> and then next I found on this gravy boat. It's not marked. There's no stamp. Um, so I don't know if it's ironstone. It feels like ironstone. And it has the detailing that the ironstone ones do have. And it has a little chip. But I don't really mind that. Um, but I just thought it was so cute. I've never had a gravy boat. And I'm excited to add this in my collection. And then these guys are so little. I mean, they're literally the size of my hand. They're little babies. I love them. Um, they're not, again, I don't know if they're iron, so I think they're probably restaurant wear. That's the stamp. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But they're super cute. I love these. Um, I love the small size. I've been looking for ovals for a while and I've not been able to find any, so I'm pretty happy that I did. And then I got the next size, and they were a two pack also. They have the same stamp. That's how they look stacked. See, they're two different sizes. They're so cute. I paid $4 for each stack of two, um, so $2 a piece. And then I got this guy. It's not stamped ironstone, it's Ultima China. Again, I'm pretty sure restaurant wear. Um, but it matches perfectly, it looks good, I love it. And this one I almost left because I'm not sure how I feel about the black edging on this. Um, but then I thought, okay, well maybe this could be cute. Because I have pops of black with my Dundee jars, my register tags, all that stuff. I've got pops of black. So I figured, why can't this work? Um, so I brought it home to try it. I figured worst comes to worst, I'll just take it to Goodwill or something. Um, but it looks beautiful with all that stuff. I mean, it's so cute. And eventually I'll show you guys a video of me styling this stuff. Um, but this one's Buffalo China. I love this. I thought it was so cute. So my husband and I went to an antique mall together and that's where I found this at. Um, I'm pretty sure it was like 75 cents. And after we left that antique mall, we went to the Goodwill outlet, which is like the bins. And if you've never been to a, a bins Goodwill, it's like a whole other experience. I will leave it at that. <laughs> um, it's not that bad, but for me personally, I like my space when I'm looking for things. I kind of get stressed out, and I'm I'm the person in the aisle that if I'm looking at something, and even though I'm really really interested in it, if someone starts walking down the aisle, and you know I can feel like I'm kind of being pushed away, I'm gonna walk away, and then I'm gonna come back when they're done. I don't know if there's like a proper shopping etiquette <laughs> I don't know but that's just how what I do that's um yeah I just find it stressful but anywho so at Goodwill Bins there's gonna be people all around you um unless you go on a not really busy day um yeah so when I found these next things I'm gonna show you I had people literally hovering, hovering over my shoulder, um, trying to look and see what I was getting and everything, and it kind of, you know, it stressed me out so bad that I grabbed these and we left. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know, I get, again, like I said in my first video, I'm nervous when, it, when I'm shopping, I don't know why, I just, I don't know. <laughs> so these I found at the Goodwill Outlet. These are the salad size, but they have that same rim. It's 
scalloped and jean. They're so cute. And they're also Buffalo China. And I thought, well, that's, you know, that never happens. So I found an oval, two salad plates, and then I found two large dinner plates. With the same black edging and the scallop. They're so cute. Now these don't really have very much crazy or anything to them, which I don't really, you know, I don't really mind it, I guess. I prefer things with like crazy and discolorations and stuff, but I just think these are gonna make the cutest contrast. Let me show you. Like how cute. Look at that. I mean, it's just a cute contrast. And I really like it. I think it'd be so cute once I get it styled. And then next I found this one and it is my favorite. I love this platter. It is so cute. It's got these beautiful little edges on it. And then if you look, you can see some of this discoloration and things. Hopefully you can see it. It's kind of overcast and rainy today, so my lighting ain't that good. Um, and it's Stamp USA. It's so cute, I love this. I wanna find more like this. It's probably my favorite. And then this one, this one's not marked. And it's actually kind of misshapen, can you tell? Like it kind of looks like it's bent over time. I'm not sure how that happened, but it's beautiful regardless. It's got this floral detail around the edge, which I really like. And it's got like a kind of a scalloped edge, really cute. But it's got this discoloration to it. Oh, I think it's so beautiful. I love this, super cute. And again, it's not marked. And then the last piece I found is I think Homer Laughlin. Yeah, this one's Homer Laughlin. Just a basic oval. But it is so pretty. Now all of these don't really have much discoloration. They're mostly in good condition, which is also fine. I don't, I don't mind that. I think they're all cute. I just like the woods and whites. I don't really, not too picky. But yeah, that's the stamp, Homer Laughlin. The edges are kind of roughed up, if you can tell. But it's so cute, you guys. I can't believe I found literally nothing but ovals. It was crazy. I think I had like maybe two ovals before this. Um, but yeah, that is my haul. And let me know in the comments what your favorite piece was or what kind of videos you want to see next. I do plan on doing some um, hutch styling. I really need to refresh this. And then I actually picked up a new hutch and I have been working on it all week, trying to paint it, stain it, get it looking good, sand it. Um, it was in really rough shape. The stain was like flaking off of it, which I love the chippy look and I prefer that, but I just wasn't able to get it looking decent. It had like this really red kind of stain to it. Um, and you can see all the brush strokes. It just, it, didn't, it wasn't in good shape. It needed a fixer upper. So now I have finally finished it as of today, today Sunday, and I have finished it. I just have to seal it, that's my next step. And then once I'm done with that, I'll share it, share it with you guys. Um, and I'm so excited to get it decorated. I have, so I have this awkward shape in my dining area um, where we had a coat rack and a shoe rack, but it was like a open shelf and you know, clutter stresses me out. So when I see the shoes laying, even though I get it, it's a house, we live here, they need to lay out. And I'm not saying that they don't, they do most of the time. Um, but I just wanted to find something that I could shut and close it. That way, when I'm cleaning and stuff, it just feels fresh and clean. You know what I'm saying? If you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I thought a hutch would be perfect. I could find one that has a shelf at the bottom. 
with the door to close it and that would work out good for us and you know give me something to decorate on top so that's what I did that's what I'm doing and I can't wait to share that with you guys and hearing from you in the comments just makes my day you guys are some of the sweetest people I love the comments and compliments and you know just hearing what you guys collect and how you decorate it just makes my heart happy I love that we're able to talk about those things Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please like and subscribe. I'm so happy to have you guys here. And there's some more decorating videos coming soon. Um, I do work a full-time job, so I try to do this in between that. So it may take me a couple days, but I'll get it out. But yeah, that was my haul. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!